Jordan Gill on the first heat race of the night, leading the group around with a missing man formation. Earlier this week, a former racing area legend passed away in Daryl Finan. And Jalen Wittengill is driving one of his old race cars, got his number 8X up on the front, doing the missing man formation for him to honor him as him and his pit crew here tonight are racing with heavy hearts. Lights are out on the speedway. Bumper to bumper auto parts, Wix Filters Championship night at the races is about to get underway, ladies and gentlemen. They go down the back straight away. Raymond Bosch, Marvin Griffith Sr. is going to lead them to the first green of the night. Green flag goes skyward, and we are racing at Thunder Hill here on championship night. Raymond Bosch out to the early lead. Dalton Ronnebaum coming on strong in the 22A. Jalen Wittengill holding down third. And down at the bottom of the racetrack is Kenny Ziegler in the 15X. Your points leader, Travis Berger, though, with trouble. Down the back straightaway he goes in that six. Berger battling for a points championship here tonight. Came in tonight with only a 14-point lead over Tyler Garst, who's in that 53T. Not the way that Travis Berger wanted to start the night out. Bosch, Rodebaum, and Ziegler, one, two, three on the speedway as we're still early here in heat number one of your Bad Boys Bail Bonds IMCA Hobby Stocks. Caution comes out. I believe I saw some debris maybe out on the speedway. Raymond Bosch, Dalton Ronnebaum bringing us around. We'll go green this time by. Can Bosch do it? We'll find out here in a few more laps. Two laps in the book, working lap number three as we go green this time by. Ziegler with problems. He drops to the low side of the racetrack. Fusselman gets by as well as Tyler Garst. In the 53T, here comes the battle for the top spot. Dalton Ronnebaum drops to the bottom. He's going to wash way up the racetrack. Bosch is going to hang on. Who is it going to be at the stripe? Let's give it to Ronnebaum this time by with a 22A. Every now and then you stick it in the corner and it holds, but Ronnebaum better hang on. Become Here comes Fusselman in the 55 He's wanting to go from worst to first here in your first heat race of your IMCA Hobby Stocks. At the stripe, it's going to be worst to first as the 55 of Fusselman takes the top spot. Good battles all the way through the racetrack. Fusselman's going to see the white flag this time as he comes kicking out of turn number four. Ronnebaum holding down second. Bosch in third, Garst fourth. Ziegler in fifth as they take the white flag. Ziegler going to try to make a pass here on the white flag lap. But the 55 of Jason Fusselman going to take the win here in heat number one here on championship night. Dalton Ronnebaum comes home second. Raymond Bosch, third. Fourth goes to Tyler Garst. And rounding out your top five will be Kenny Ziegler. But your winner, the 55 of Jason Fusselman. Tyler Hendricks looking to try to see if he can maybe pull off a championship run here tonight. He's got an outside chance, but he's still got a chance as long as he's here and he's racing. John Bass, Larry Hunter bringing us to the green flag. As we come out of four, we're back to green flag action. Ronnebaum. Slowing right off the start. John Bass a little crossed up. Here we go. It's a battle down the back straightaway. Bass at the bottom. He's still got the lead, but here comes Patrick Tifo and Tyler Hendricks. Bass is going to go way up the racetrack. Trouble for Hendricks in the 25. He is going to have a big, big problem as he's going to have to pull off the racetrack. 
Patrick Tifo takes out to the lead, but here comes Rapid Roy Armstrong going to the front in a hurry in that six car. Tifo and Rodebaum are going to give chase, but Roy Armstrong, again, another one of those drivers going from worst to first, and he's doing it within the first lap of the night. Armstrong started eighth in this heat race, and within a couple laps, he's blasted to the point. Armstrong, Ronabom, Patrick Tifo. Your top three on the speedway. Nathan Munhall hanging down the fourth position. The battle right now raging for second as Patrick Tifo tries to get back around Nicholas Ronnebaum. Tifo is going to push up the racetrack, but right now the white flag is going to Roy Armstrong, who is showing the way in a big way. Armstrong puts the hammer down in turn three, comes roaring out of turn number four. Your winner of heat number two, Roy Armstrong. Patrick Tifo comes home second. Nicholas Ronnebaum in third. Nathan Munhall goes in fourth. And rounding out your top five is the 21 of Brian Stitch. Don't forget to see my buddies down there at Chair Rental Associates for your chair backs. Blankets, hand warmers, or earplugs. They've got you covered. Randy Davis, Gene Becker, ready to light the fires here in heat race number one of your sport mods. Green flag comes out from Tim, and we're racing. Hold on, as we've got a lot of jockeying for position. Eating it up on the bottoms of 27 of Chad Chubby Shaw, Chubzilla. Making a move, but out in front leading lap one will be the four of Randy Davis. Davis, Charles, Davis, Becker, and then Shaw. Jacob Davis with a little bit of a bobble. Becker and Shaw will get by him. Shaw still on the hammers. He has now made his way into third. Randy Davis still your leader with Austin Charles right behind him. Shaw using that banking. Watch him come up high on the turns, and then he runs down the banking to use that momentum. Right now in second, looking to take the top spot. Trouble back behind us. Well, looks like Jacob Davis involved in that one. Randy Davis, Austin Charles, ready to get it going one more time here at Thunder Hill Speedway. Green comes out, and we're racing one more time. Davis drops to the low line. Charles in the middle. Shaw using that banking to his advantage. Here he comes. That time he had to check up for Randy Davis, who dropped down to the bottom of the speedway. Charles trying to work the high line. Davis hanging on, but here comes Shaw on the bottom of the racetrack. At the stripe, give it to Chad Shaw on the 27. Charles also trying to work his way by Davis as he drops to the bottom of the track. He washes up, has to gather it up. It's a dead heat between him and Davis as they go down into turn three. Out in front, marching to his own drum. That's Chad Shaw, Chubzilla in the 27. Randy Davis hanging on to second, then Charles in third. Gene Becker holding down fourth. Fifth is Tracy Schaefer here in heat number one for your IMCA Northern Sport Mods. White flag to your leader, Chad Shaw. Shaw spreading them out here in heat number one, marching down the back straightaway. Again, former feature winner here in 2014. Roaring out of turn number four, your winner here in heat one of the sport mods, Chad Shaw. 
Austin Charles will come home second. Randy Davis in third. Fourth will go to Tracy Schaefer, who tries to avoid Davis at the end. And Gene Becker will round out your top five. Chad Shaw picks up the victory. Belleville Motorsports, IMCA Northern Sport Mod. Heat race number two coming your way as they come out of turn four. Watch Tim throwing the green flag. Mitchell with a big boost and a big run. He jets out into the lead right off the get-go. Trying to go three wide back behind him. Billy Carino is going to push way up the racetrack. And he's going to get up beside Troy Baumgartner. Now he's going to be in the team sandwich as Ricky Abrams goes down to the bottom. Baumgartner working the high side, but Billy Carino's fending him off down the back chute. All the battling action going on. The 32 of Pitsenbarger making a roar up to the front. Your points leader. Oh, we got a little side-by-side -side bumper car action in the back. Duvall, Stahlbomber, and Smith all banging off of one another. Now Baumgartner trying to work over Billy Carino in the 23C for that second spot. All the while, Mitchell walking away out in front of this field. Abrams now working the low line on Carino. Here comes Pitsenbarger now into fourth as he slowly gets by Troy Baumgartner down the back chute. Abrams going into second. Abrams takes over that second spot. Carino back to third. Oh, Carino misses the turn. That time by goes way up high on the racetrack. Everybody's going to get by. Here comes Stahlbomber with a late charge. Stahlbomber working over Baumgartner trying to take away fourth. White flag to your leader, though. Pat Mitchell. Out of turn number four, trying to hang on to it. Pat Mitchell, who had problems before. The race gets the win. Ricky Abrams comes home second. Jeremy Pitsenbarger third. Troy Baumgartner fourth and fifth goes to Luke Stahlbaum. But your winner... Fred Dagan in the 42 will be to his outside. Then it's Aaron Hilderman, Kelly Peel, Max Harder, Kelly Neisler, and Kyle Williams as we get ready for our final heat race here of your IMCA Northern Sport Mods. Yellow flag comes out. Flagman Tim didn't like that one. Somebody a little hard on the gas early. Didn't get to hear who that was, but we'll start it over one more time. Dagan and Rigsby bringing them into four. Coming, kicking out of four. We're green one more time. Trouble for Dagan as he spins around here on the front straightaway. He's going to try to keep it going. He does keep it going. Rigsby at the front of the field. Kelly Peel right behind him in the 3K. Harder's in third. Kelly Neisler fourth and fifth is going to be Aaron Hilderman. Slow and steady is the pace right now as we stay at the same top three as we had on the opening lap. Rigsby, Peel, and Harder, your top three. Everybody spread out here in heat race number three here of your IMCA Northern Sport Mods. Rigsby on a rail right now here on championship night at the front of the field. Kelly Peel doing a great job hanging on to second. Max Harders ran up to his backside as the white flag comes out. The top three still remain the same as they run up on the lap car, Brett Dagan. The 
Rigsby one more time into three. They're going to come screaming out of turn number four, picking up the win here in heat race number three. It'll be Brian Rigsby. Kelly Peel comes home second. Max Harder in third. Kelly Neisler fourth. And Aaron Hilderman rounds out your top five. But Brian Rigsby. Leaf Weir. Will bring us to green with Mike Taylor. Green flag comes out and we're underway. Mike Taylor jumping out to the early lead. Eric Rempel on the high side looking to go down. Here comes Whitney also too. Whitney on the gas hard as he is currently in that third spot. Good battle up front as Rempel works to the inside of Mike Taylor. Taylor will drop into that second spot. Rimple, Taylor, and Whitney, your top three. Matt Hayde works his way into fourth. Leaf Weir to his bottom will now drop to fifth. Tight race here in heat race number one of the stock cars. Whitney now works his way around Mike Taylor. Takes away that second spot. He's going to zero in on Eric Rimple in the 21. Does he have time to run him down? We'll find out. Whitney. Whitney getting a little closer to your leader. Keep an eye on that battle up front. Brad Whitney with a good bite. He'll come out of turn number two with the top spot. Rimple back to that second spot. Brad Whitney talked to him before the races, said he liked his chances here tonight. He'll take the white flag. He's a lap away from picking up the win here in heat race number one of the stock cars. Rimple not going away as he's pushing the issue with Whitney as they go down the back straightaway. Teresa Wolf right up in front of him. Here they come. Rimple high side ripping. He's going to have to settle for second because it's all Brad Whitney at the finish. Rimple in second, third to Mike Taylor. Matt Hayde, team car, comes in fourth. Jim Powell, Jr. rounds out your top five. Mike Nichols, multiple-time national champion in the stock car division. Green flag comes out, and Kid Rocket himself boosts to the lead in the 24C. Greg Dieter's also making a run as he's battling around the front half of the field. Keen working the bottom of the race, tracking that 6X. Lance Borgman, here he comes in that 76, working the inside of Keen in the 6X. Concrete keeping everybody at bay right now in that 24C. Greg Dieter's, though, a little patience in the 29 as he's going to dive bomb into turn three. He's going to wash up coming out of turn four, and he'll take the lead this time by from Concrete. Dieters, Borgman now moving into the second spot. Then Concrete, Keen and Marvin Griffiths Jr., your top five. D 
Eater's in a battle with Borgman right now for that top spot. High man on the totem pole right now is going to be Dieters in the 29. But here comes Borgman looking to take the top spot. He'll do it at the flag stand. Let's give the lead to the 76 of Lance Borgman. Borgman, a two-time feature winner here in 2014 at Thunder Hill Speedway. He's currently atop the standings right now as they're on the speedway running in the IMCA stock cars. Mike Nichols now making a late charge here in this heat race. Right behind Brandon Conkright in the 24C. Borgman, Dieters, Conkright, and Nichols. Conkright doing a fine job battling off your national champion of Nichols. White flag should be coming out this time by for Lance Borgman as he spread out the lead a little bit. Nichols with a power move on Conkright. Going to go by on the high side of the white flag at the stripe. Your leader down the back shoot he goes, Borgman. In the 76, looking to put this one in the books. Final time. Final corner. Your winner here of heat race number two of the stock cars, the 76 of Lance Borgman. Greg Dieter second. Mike Nichols third. Brandon Conkright fourth. Fifth will go to Kevin Keene. But your winner here of heat number two of the stock cars is the 76. Thunder Hill Speedway would like to thank Petro Deli, B100, CarQuest, Superior Salvage, Advanced Engine and Machine, Thunder Eagle Ministries, for their sponsorship of the 2014 season. BSB Manufacturing IMCA Modified Heat Race number one getting ready to go as they come out of turn number four. Tim throws the green flag and we're going racing. Holy cow, they're all over the place, and there goes Justin Becker like a rocket into that third position. Cliff Shepard holding down the top spot. Alan Halderman battling up there in that second position right on the back bumper of Cliff Shepard. Danny Holt making his way into the mix. But Becker using that middle groove, working it to his advantage as he's coming through the field. Danny Holt's going to follow right behind him, see if he can go with him. It's still Cliff Shepard, your man at the front after two laps. Becker now makes the move, takes the top spot down the back straight away. He'll set her up into turn three as your new leader. Holt going to go by Shepard for second. Alverson going to look to do the same, but here comes Brandon Gimmel. Becker, Holt, Shepard, and now Gimmel, your top four. Brent Alverson in fifth. Now Alverson looking to take fourth back. He can't do it. He'll sit back in that fifth position. Five laps in the books. Working lap six, and Justin Becker. A little bit of a lead over the second-place car of Danny Holt. Holt also second in the points right now. Shepard, good run for him, currently sitting in third. Strong run for the 52-2. Working lap seven right now as we come by. White flag to your leader, Justin Becker. Gimmel looks to the inside of Shepard on the white flag. Becker Holt running away from the field here in heat number one of the modified heat races. Out of four, your winner, Justin Becker in the 70. Danny Holt comes home second. Third will go to Cliff Shepard. Fourth, Brandon Gimmel. Brent Alverson will round out your top five. Your winner here in heat number one is the 70 of Justin Becker. Lights out. We're getting ready to go 
Racing action one more time here. Bumper to bumper auto parts, Wicks Filters Championship Night at Thunder Hill Speedway. Anthony Tanner's on the fun button and we're underway. Tanner battling on the high side. Clay Hale trying to make a move on the inside here on the opening lap of heat number two. Hale won't get the job done. It's Anthony Tanner at the stripe. Bottom of the racetrack doesn't seem to be there right now. Hale uses that run off the banking to shoot himself into the top spot. Hale now your new leader coming by at the end of lap number two. Tanner still holds down second. Spriggs third. Here comes Charles in the fourth. And Tim Umshide in fifth. Three wide they go. Spriggs, Tanner, and Charles. Spriggs will take the second spot away. Charles now looking to work over Anthony Tanner for third. Charles might say the heck with third. Let's go for second as he's now on the back bumper of Spriggs. Battle the 81s down the back chute. Charles on the high side. Spriggs on the low line. All while Clay Hale jumping away from the field here in heat race number two. Charles, good run that time by. He's going to take away the second spot from Spriggs. Keep an eye on that battle. Right now, the 22H, Clay Hale, untouchable here as he's got about a half a straightaway lead over Charles. White flag should come out this time by to your leader, Clay Hale in the 22H. Hale sees that white flag. Got to hold it together for one more lap. He'll pick up the heat race win here in heat number two. Clay Hale comes screaming out of turn number four. He'll pick up the win here in heat two of your BSB Manufacturing IMCA Modifieds. Tom Charles comes home second. Richard Spriggs will finish third. Good run in fourth for Anthony Tanner. And then Rodney Klinkner rounds out your top five. Kyle Stahlbomber will now jump into the lead as Chase Klinkner goes to the back of the field. Bobby Eubanks to his outside. 24 cars here in attendance on bumper to bumper auto parts, Wix filters, night at the racing here, championship night at Thunder Hill Speedway. Again, Matt Stahlbaum with a 29 point lead. Basically, all he has to do is start the A main, and he will pick up the 2014 championship here in your modifieds. Grabowski making short work on the high side as he shoots by several cars here on lap number one. Up front's Kyle Stahlbomber. Bobby Eubanks hanging down second. Everybody's going to have to check up as Grabowski runs up to the back of Olberding, has to check it up. But Grabowski's going to let it eat on the bottom. He'll wash up in front of Olberding. Olberding going to fight back in that fourth position. Stahlbomber, Eubanks, Grabowski, Olberding, and Cleveland, your top five. Stahlbomber, Eubanks, and Grabowski, the top three. Grabowski now up onto the back bumper of Eubanks in that six. Stahlbomber running away from him right now. Does Grabowski have enough time? Eight laps in length. We're working lap number four right now as we come around. New car for Grabowski. Can he get it figured out before feature time? We'll find out. Kyle Stahlbomber's got it figured out right now. 
feature winner from a few weeks ago. He's leading near heat race number three here in your BSB Manufacturing Modifieds. Stahlbomber, Grabowski, Eubanks, Cleveland, and Oberding, the top five. A white flag will come out to Stahlbomber this time by the K-27. Stahlbomber gets the white flag. Yellow comes out. Trouble on the speedway, and that's not what Stahlbomber needed to see. The lights out on the speedway. Kyle Stahlbomber going to have a green-white checker to see if he can pick up the win here in heat number three. Watch the 30 of Jordan Grabowski. He's going to make him work for it. I guarantee you that, ladies and gentlemen. Stahlbomber with a good run here on the restart. Bobby Eubanks, hang on, buddy. Hard into the wall up in turn number one. Eubanks backs her in up at the top of turn one. Lights go out on the speedway. We'll try it one more time. Successive yellows here on Bumper to Bumper Auto Parts Wix Filters Championship Night at the Races here at Thunder Hill Speedway. Your Saturday night clash on the hill. Kyle Stahlbomber going to try to get another good start here. This time Grabowski keeps pace with him as they head into the corner. Cleveland also coming into the mix. Grabowski using that banking to his liking. He's going to try to take the top spot, the up and under, coming from Stahlbomber. Stahlbomber will give it to him. And they go into turn two, and they come out, and it's Grabowski, Stahlbomber, and Cleveland. Checkered flag for your winner, the 30 of Jordan Grabowski. Kyle Stahlbomber comes home second. Smoking Joe Cleveland finishes third. Fourth will be Kyle Oberding. And fifth is Matt Stahlbomber. And here comes your Casey's General Stores IMCA Sport Compact Heat Race. Austin Umshide, Brandon Lobdell, Lobdell will be your front row. Art Herzog, Kyle Hogden will be your Row number two, row three is Michael Smith and Rachel Davis. Stop into Casey's General Store today where the October special is a free two-liter bottle of pop with a purchase of any large made-from-scratch pizza. That's Casey's General Stores. Green flag comes out in this heat race, and Lobdell up to the top spot, but here comes a charge from, I believe, Michael Smith in the 17, or actually, actually Kiowa Hogden in the 17. Too many 17s here in this heat race here, number one for your sport compacts. Lobdell, though, in the lead. Tight race here. Herzog coming into the mix, and Hogden... Hogden jumping to the top spot. Hogden, Lobdell, Herzog. And now Michael Smith, your top four. Your 2014 champion here at Thunder Hill Speedway, currently running in the fifth position. That is the U69 of Austin Umshai. Umshide and that U69 gave us the wonderful champions plaque that we've got, champions board that lists all the champions, past champions. He'll be able to add his name to that board this year. A white flag will come out to Kiowa Hogden as he comes and takes the white flag. One more lap. He'll pick up the win. Ogden brings it through three and four one more time, final time. He'll end heat race number one here for your sport compacts as the winner. Brandon Lobdell will come home second. 
Art Herzog in third. Michael Smith fourth. Fifth will go to Austin Umshide. And then here comes Rachel Davis going to round out. Your competitors on the speedway. And that'll do